Sneaky time. Ah! That's not conducive to sneaky time at all. What is this little door? Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think I can go that way. At least not without something bad happening. I've got an idea, though. Oh, but I can't? That's no fun. Oh, and that's all bolted up. And graded and everything. But isn't there some way into there? Hmm. Feels like there should be. Huh. <coughs> How to get through? Closed circuit TV. Everybody likes it. Well, I don't want to let old pooper pants here know we're here. What do we do, everyone? Hmm. If we had some way of shutting the power. I don't have a silencer for my fancy schmancy gun, so that's not going to work. Maybe there's another way to handle this. Hey, maybe I should just set off the security and just. I don't know. Well, invisible. This should work. I mean, really, what's the harm in that? He'll come to check it out and see nobody's there. It ought to be fun. Just standing there, huh? Oh, that's a bad idea. <coughs> hmm, we need a key card. Key card we don't have. Sneaky time. Oh wait. There's a key card. Oh, we can't even open this door. That's sad. That's really sad. Everybody likes storage. Hello? Anybody home? Anything hidden back here? Nah, I didn't think so. Yeah. Anything in here? Hello? Anybody? How you doing? Sure, I wish I could see you through here. I think being a vampire we could see in the dark, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Ooh, can't see me. Oh, uh-oh. Total cutscene going on here. I can yeah. understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse. This city's not that dull. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beckett! Yeah! Why am I clapping? I'm an archaeologist. So I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this uncurrent sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. 
I needed confirmation. Did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Hmm. The G word makes my thoughts frightened. What is it? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the Antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Tell me the other signs so I can peel my eyes. What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Hmm. And the Dark Father? Where is he? Cain, who I assume you mean is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Hmm. I want to hear more stories about the thin kindred. Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? Hmm, so you seen an old box around here? That's all I need. Oh, don't let me interrupt your progress. If indeed you've made some, my reason for being here is probably being bid on as we speak. Someone is certainly going to be surprised when they find out they've just paid a kingly sum for a desiccated old corpse. I will rediscover the old box. Here I go. Oh, where are we going? No, we didn't want to leave the museum. What's going on? I don't like this. Hey! I did not want to leave the museum. I had a fetish to find. Oh, and they won't let me go back. Ugh. Well, there's just one way to handle this, folks. And that's to go back. Hmm. However, we won't subject everyone to everything we just did all over again, so I'm going to cut the video and resume when I think we have found it. So, be right back, everybody. Oh, hi. This is a nice alternate dimension we find ourselves in. Let's see what this computer says. I love Gabe. Oh, hey. We are totally trying to work here, buddy. Gotcha. Can you believe it? Just trying to check our email no matter where we go. People trying to kill us. There's gunshots. I don't even know where they're coming from. Oh, outside. Eh, we'll be okay. Okay, reminder. Just a reminder. Dr. Anders Johansson a.k.a. the sarcophagus guy, will be working at the museum for the next few days. Show him the professional courtesy we show all our guests. The statue on Daryl's workstation is creeping me out. I was working late the other night, and I swear I thought, Ow! One of the... Oh, you got inside, didn't you? Bad guard. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. We're gonna teach you not to do that. Now, as I was saying, 
I thought I saw a move. This is another gag, is it? If it is, I don't think it's funny. Mavis detected a virus in the attachment of the message. The virus was in quarantine and a notice sent to that email address. Those keys you found? They're Larry's. I tell him you left them in the lost and found. Ooh, okay. Menu. Uh, previous? Uh, quit. Aha, uh -huh. sales. What do the sales say? Valve leaks. Okay. I guess that's it. Sales figures. There's really nothing to say. But there have been that few sales. Okay, it's getting a little crazy out there. I think I'm gonna uh yeah. These are fun little make problem go away X. Oh, that's where it led. That was pretty simple. Those big doors, you probably can't go through them. And that's for the key we found. Hmm. Well, let's go this way. I think I have a good idea where this key leads. So, yeah. We'll be right back yet again.